Hello, hello, Capricorn. Welcome to your mid-September reading. So we're going to get into these cards in just a second, but the first thing that Spirit is offering is we're heading into Libra season. And Libra, for my Capricorn rising people, but for all people with Capricorn involved, this will be true. There is a spotlight coming to your favorite house, your house of career, public reputation, what you're known for. And Spirit is saying, some of you have a very clear idea of like, this is exactly where I want to be or what I want to achieve or get. And others of you are completely like, mm, I'm not that person. Maybe I'm a Capricorn with some Pisces or Cancerian placements or et cetera, where it's a little bit more like, I'm not sure. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> You want to check in with your feelings, and I know that this is going to turn off a certain subset of Capricorns, but you need to hear that Spirit is like, sometimes we need to be reminded of or find out what our why is. Why do I want to achieve this? What is it about getting that thing that really, like, would satisfy me, or where would that leave me? Like, would I be able to rest? Would it bring me a sense of peace? Would it bring me a sense of accomplishment? Would it let me, whatever, like fill in the blank. Why? Why that? Oh, because I want to support my family and my friends or whatever. If your why is really great, amazing. Checking in with it again can like, you know, be like checking the compass and being like, oh, I was a couple degrees off. Good thing I checked in because, you know, I could have landed in Seattle instead of San Diego or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple degrees off can take us to a different place. So check in with that why and reorient to it. And if you don't know what your why is or you don't know what it is you want to achieve, then it's time to like, well, what does give me a sense of pleasure or purpose or whatever? Like, what makes me feel good? <laughs> no, no, I know you're a Capricorn, right? What makes me feel good is not your first, the first question that you ask yourself in a day. You may never ask yourself this question and that's why spirit is offering it to you. And if you're somebody, if you're a Capricorn who does check in with what would make me feel good or satisfied or fulfilled or creative or whatever, you're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> you're doing great. And if you're not, that's okay. It's very normal, very reasonable and Here's your guidance from spirit. Check in with your why, reorient to it. A shift of a few degrees could have you in a very different place. Okay? Okay. So let's get into these cards. Let's get into mid-September for my Capricorn people. Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising. That is the loudest bus in the world. Can you hear that Capricorn? My apologies, my goodness. Oh no, and there's a white guy with dreads on the side of it. This is all wrong. <laughs> okay. Capricorn in mid-September. Capricorn in mid-September. Thank you, spirit. What do my Capricorn friends and family need to know? Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising and dominant people. 10th house dominant people spirit what do all those who carry the archetype of capricorn have in common right now we want to know how is capricorn showing up and what is their focus and we want to know what you would want to make them most aware of about it what you would point out to capricorn at this point in their journey in order to help them step into their highest good spirit. A feeling of peace, abundance, ease, fulfillment, joy for Capricorn people spirit. In the back half of September, what do you want to point out to them for their highest good? Let's see what we got here. Six, perfect. Capricorn. Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising. <laughs> Spirit never ceases to amaze me. We gotta check in with that why. We're getting a little bit constipated. Checking in with that why is gonna change fucking everything. Wow, and checking in with your emotions. Spirit just really fucking never ceases to amaze me. So apologies if you've never been here before, Capricorn. In fact, maybe more apologies if you have because you've probably heard me say this a million times, but it never ceases to be true. So, <laughs> 
You're showing up as the Nine of Wands. Your focus is on completing something, getting to the end with something. Some of you are trying to get out of somewhere. Some of you are trying to get to somewhere. And they're kind of the same thing, really, when you think about it, right? A door that's, you know, trying to get out of this door and into that one. So Nine of Wands would tell you, don't give up. There are a number of other things sitting here in your cards, you can see, that say, don't give up. You are actually on your way. I mean, f can we just spoiler alert and jump to the long-term future of Ten of Cups? Joy, fulfillment, feeling surrounded by people who love and appreciate you. I'm um, feeling like Spirit is saying overwhelming gratitude. So just feeling so well resourced and appreciated. And especially with that Four of Wands, my goodness, this is a lovely, lovely reading, Capricorn. The call is coming from inside the house, okay? Because everything around you is looking pretty fucking gorgeous. So let's look at the current situation, Six of Cups. We need to look at your feelings. We need to look at your why. Some of you are looking at the past longingly. Some of you are searching for your why there. It feels like there has been a time when you felt more satisfied or more like things were gonna go really well or things could get better. And you've been in a little bit of a nine of wands state for a little too long. It's exhausting. It's exhausting to staying like, spirit is using actually the word hypervigilant. So some of you may just be extremely type A, some of you may be all the way to, okay, we're like, we might have some like CPTSD symptoms with some hypervigilance and some like, oh, I can't go to sleep because I gotta stay awake and make sure I don't feel stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Well, Six of Cups says there's all kinds of loving support. Some of you may have very prominent siblings or friends that you've had for like decades where it's like, this is my forever person. This person is basically family. I'm seeing lots and lots of um, indicators for family or chosen family. Like we would do anything for each other. This person would wipe my ass if I had major surgery and couldn't do it. That's the type of energy. <laughs> That's how it's coming through. What can I say? Um, you have so much love in, in your life, Capricorn. And I want to say, for those of you for whom that does not resonate, and there's nothing wrong with you, if you're like, I don't have family, dude. I don't have a lot of friends around me or have a community that I connect with. This would, the, all of your cards here indicate that that is available for you. That it is within arm's reach that if I just reach out, that community is available. And that doesn't have to be your blood family. That doesn't even have to be people in your immediate vicinity. Nowadays, it's like we can connect with groups of people who've been through similar things as us. It's like literally you could just um, like go looking for groups like, okay, look, <laughs> I'm a geriatric millennial, okay? I don't even go on Facebook, but I do know that there are some pretty fucking fire groups <laughs> on Facebook for like, Capricorn moon support group or whatever. You know what I mean? Even stuff like that where it's like, thank God, at least these people get it. And the memes they're posting about like needing to hold my emotions inside so I can finish this shit are at least making me feel somebody sees me, somebody gets me. So it's available to everybody. It just depends on what form it takes, okay? Nine of cups in the situation arising, wishes coming true. The one thing that I would say here, because this is like gorgeous energy, is watch out for resting on your laurels. Watch out for, I think I've done enough. I don't really need to do any more growing or I don't think I need to do any reaching out or I don't think I need to, there's a little bit of constipation, a little bit of constipation here. <laughs> Let's talk about the heart of the matter. Four of pentacles. So the heart of the matter is you are richer than you think you are. You are more well-resourced than you think you are. You may be feeling or telling yourself that like there's nobody but me. Nobody but me can do this or handle this or nobody gets me or cares except for me. And it's like that couldn't be further from the truth. And I'll say it, Capricorn, at the risk of, of offending your cheeseometer, the cringe, cringe, cringeometer, is like I'm a stranger on the Internet looking into a lens, but I care. I'm not trying to make any money off of you. I'm not trying to get you to get a personal reading or whatever. Like, like 
you are worthy. There are people in the world who would care about you never knowing your name, never having anything, you know, quote unquote, invested in you, expecting returns on that investment. Some people are just invested in you because they want to see you happy. We exist. Four of Pentacles, you're richer than you think you are, and there's no way, you know, no quicker way to feel poor than to start comparing yourself to other people. And Spirit is like, please remind yourself that if you're going to start comparing yourself to other people, that there's a whole other side of the coin that you might be forgetting about. So it's like, while you're comparing yourself to people who are better off, are you actually, you know, maintaining some equilibrium of perspective by thinking about the people who are worse off? Just a thought. It's like, while we're comparing stuff, let's make sure that we're being real honest with ourselves so that we are not putting ourselves in an unnecessary place of financial uh, constipation. Four of Pentacles, you know, that is about money. It is about work. It's about resources. So how are you putting your resources to work and are you withholding some of those resources? Are there certain gifts or skills or ideas that you might be holding so close to your chest that they don't have, you know, the opportunity to be witnessed and appreciated by other people? It'd be a wonderful time for you to be a little, be a little looser. Be a little freer with your skills that creates growth it creates support and ultimately it creates happiness short-term future four of wands again another card for family whether blood or chosen feeling seen celebrated i feel like some of you will have something to celebrate between that and the nine of cups and the ten of cups where it's like new job or you know finally got to the finish line with that big project this nine of wands thing um, oh, marriage, anniversary, that kind of thing where it's like, wow, look how abundantly loved I am. And again, if you're not feeling abundantly loved, now is the time to start resourcing yourself and finding things and people your why, what you want to connect with, what you want to celebrate, what you want to bring more of into the world or just feel more of in your own daily life. Like, damn, I miss my friends or whatever. Like, okay, well, I need to reach out and connect with some people and create some opportunities. You flourish. You flourish. This is a reading of flourishing. <laughs> as long as you take this Four of Pentacles energy, anywhere that you feel like you are comparing what you have to other people and telling yourself that you're not enough or that you're too much. I'm not enough. I'm too much. Take off both of those. I am. It's a beautiful reading, Capricorn. Give yourself more credit and let other people, uh, you giving yourself more credit, Spirit is saying, leads directly to other people giving you more credit. So start with the inside. Call is coming from the inside the house. Answer it. Speak to yourself. And then you're going to start getting calls from outside the house for more of the stuff that you want. That's just what I'm fucking hearing. Spirit be funny. All right. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Capricorn. I really, really hope that this is helpful for you. And if I don't see you before then, then I hope I will see you in your October reading. Bye, Cap.